All right, guys, thanks for jumping on here to Middle American Outdoors and checking out our subscription box reveal and reviews. It's been a pretty good month with uh, different turkey boxes from the different subscriptions and just really hoping we get a chance to get out and film some turkey hunting, but who knows what the way things are right now. Uh, I guess we'll just see. But as you can see here, this is the March 2020 Hunt Vault. Elite box. All right, so jumping right in then to the Pump Ball Elite box, like I said. This is obviously for March 2020. I'm not sure if this is going to be turkey or what but let's just jump in and see so open the box and that's what you're gonna see black paper whoa that was about a mess let's pick that up let's pick that up sneak that back in there all right so that's what you're gonna see bam be a little bit more careful here. Uh, oh, that thing just really wants to find its way to the ground. Okay, so let me slide this out of the way and let's jump in. So, first, there's your car. We've got three, six, nine items in the March 2020 Elite Collection from Hunt Vault. So, starting from the bottom working our way up you saw this thing trying to jump its way out more duke cannon product we were introduced to them at least i was introduced to them the other day or the other day i was introduced to them a couple months ago through hunt vault with that big block of soap and this looks like pretty decent stuff this is the working man's face wash it says with the refreshing citrus scent and a little grit for optimal cleansing, this face wash works as hard as you do with premium ingredients to energize, protection for skin, and fight fatigue. It smells all right. Um, pretty cool. I, I really like Duke Cannon. As we covered before, they donate a proceed of their portions to U.S. veterans and you know i didn't serve at all but i'm very appreciative of those that did and being able to support a company that supports those that did is very important um, plus they just make great product and fairly funny advertisements as well if you haven't seen them check some of them out um, anyway you got that listed here as an eight dollar value you can find the combo pack of a four and a two ounce for twenty dollars so we'll just call this two ounce or seven and that then will bring us to box total for Hunt Ball is a 160 box with a 225 MSRP target. Here it says. And then we are at 160 box. We are at $7 market value and $8 MSRP from what they have listed. <clears throat> Keep moving our way up here. Birchwood Casey Off Eye Optical Lens Filters. This looks pretty cool. This is something I might try. I'm not sure if it's intended for only rifle hunting or if there'd be a way to work this into um, target practice with the bow. But essentially, you see this here, it says, rarely do advanced shooters shoot with both eyes open. This product allows full-time use of dominant aiming eye and allows the shooter to keep both eyes open. Uh, I'm working pretty hard on getting used to having both eyes open with the bow. I'm getting pretty decent at it for 20 to 30 yards. And I'm hoping maybe I try this out and it'll make it a little bit better for those longer distance target shots. But it kind of just looks like you go through a progression here of 
This is your off eye, off eye. Just working your way through um, how much is actually blocked or open, putting that on a pair of glasses, it looks like. It says, after removing the clean material from backer, apply the vinyl cling to glass lens over the non-aiming eye, positioning on the lens as desired. The underside of the off-eye optical filter works on either the outside or inside of the glasses. You can also experiment by using this product vertical or cut to different shapes to best fit your needs. Anyway, I'd, I'd have to look into a little bit more. Maybe you guys have seen that before. I haven't really seen that before. I'd be interested in trying it to see if it helps with um, using both eyes with shooting the bow. So they've got that listed at a $12 value. You can find it here for $12, bring us to a $160 box, $19, then on our market value in $20 for the MSRP. Next item is the Maristep Bow Holder Go Combo. Looks like it. There it is. So the Maristep Bow Holder slash Rope Combo a must for any tree stand. This combo pack features an easy to use no knot clip, a rubber coated bow and a gun holder, as well as a 30 foot hoist. <laughs> um, it's not overly impressive, I'll just say that, but it's just got the screw in hooks here for hooking into the tree to hang your bow by the cam or probably maybe by the limb looks like by the cam with that size and you can maybe hang a gun by the sling but then it's also got this 30 foot hoist with this metal clip on it I mean it's rope you use the rope for something else I'm sure and I tend to use these little screw in pegs for different items um, when it comes to filming the tree stand and such. Interesting little item. Um, let's go then. That is listed at a $12 value. You find it here for $11. You've got a 160 box. You've got 30 now for the market value and 32 for the MSRP. Going on to item number four is the Work Sharp Micro Sharpener and Knife Tool. This is actually really, I love Work Sharp stuff. But the I mean, if you're going to go into apocalypse mode, this is something I definitely want to have right here. The Work Sharp multi-tool guy, multi-tool sharpener. Love that thing. <clears throat> uh, here we've got this little smaller multi-tool up on the back there. That work. But you can sharpen, hone. It's got a bit driver. It's got a fine ceramic rod, a medium diamond rod, T6, T8, T10 bits, a lanyard, and the bit driver. So the little bits. Let me show you on here again. You've got the little bits stored here. And they're going right into the corner here. And then you, this is being used as a driver for those little bits. There's your hone and your diamond, and your ceramic diamond. Pretty cool. I mean, I'll fit in your pocket easy or lanyard it to a pack. Workshop's just real good stuff, and yeah, it'll be a good, good item for down the road. <coughs> I've got that listed then at a $13 value. Find it here for 10, bringing us to a 160 box, 40 now for the market value, and 45 for MSRP with five items to go. It's a lot of items in this box. I mean, it's not like a bunch of just junk filler stuff necessarily either. Um, but here we've got the muddy tree step sledge. Damn. And that says allows for quicker and easier tree step installation, includes a built in magnet holding the step in place for one hand use. A handle creating a lever to ease installation and a sheath for carrying and easy access. It's got like, quite a bit of weight to it, um, but they're using that 
pulling it up there far enough to screw in your big steps. Um, I don't have one out. I don't intend to use this. Uh, maybe you guys have seen in the past working on next year's setup. And that's what we're going with with the saddle. The stealth stealth stripped B sticks with an aider. Um, so I'm not gonna be using tree steps obviously and this weighs about I think it was about five pounds total. Um, I'm pretty excited to actually get out and start using that. I'll keep this around because you just never know what you might um, do later on. It might go to screw in steps. Who knows? I mean, it's going to make a little bit too much noise for what I like right now. And that thing is heavier than probably one of those steps. Excuse me. They've got that listed then at a $15 value. You can find it here for $17. Bringing us to a 160 box, 57 for our market value and 60 for our MSRP. And we are five items in, four items to go. Next item is definitely for the ball hunter selection, I assume. Um, somebody else probably got an amazing knife or something, but this is pretty cool for bow hunters. Um, this is the NAP New Archery Products Speed Fletch. You get different speed fletches from time to time, and this is a totally different concept. Um, so instead of a shrink wrap, this looks like just the fletchings. Bring it on here as you can see. <coughs> so it's just the fletchings essentially. And you're just going to feed that onto the butt of your shaft. This is the medium size. I don't like when things have sizes because you're just assuming you got medium and large. Yeah, we're all bow hunters, but there's not guaranteed that that's going to work. I'm guessing it's going to work for me because I'm using smaller diameter shafts. And the only reason I ever use these things along with the other speed fletches is on target practice arrows. Um, or if you're, you know, when you're not even shooting for accuracy, you're just shooting for form and uh, technique. And occasionally tear some fletchings up. I just throw these on there. I mean, I shoot eight or nine, actually. I shoot about 10 yards here in the basement just for form and muscle memory. So I'm not too worried about if fletchings are a little bit different. And it's a lot easier just to throw these on than to re-fletch an arrow if they hit each other, etc. But when you're out target shooting and actually trying to sight in the bow, I don't mess with this stuff because you want it all to be the same um, from where you're gonna go hunt with. Let me put that there. To the pile and now they've got that listed at a $20 value you can actually find it here for 13 bring us to a 160 box 70 market value 80 MSRP three items to go the next item is the tangle free flight series hat and this is an interesting little hat it feels a lot like a marathoner running hat <laughs> Pretty decent looking. It's a short bill. It's got the stretch. It says here the Flight Series cap represents Tangle Free's new line of digital OptiFade camouflage products. You experience the perfect fit and absolute comfort with the cap's water resistant, breathable stretch material, and a Velcro back. Like I said, if you've ever had like a trail runner or marathon type hat, this is definitely what this thing feels like. neat little camo pattern I'll try to show you. We call that the OptiFade camouflage. Pretty neat. I'm just going to add that to the collection and show you. I have a bit of an addiction. And it goes all the way down the rest of the basement as well. But I do love hats. Um, and I like to have the different companies, etc. So 
that'll be going in the pile. That they have listed actually at a $30 value, which seems a little crazy. You can't actually find it on Amazon. So I had to go with the company website and they've got it listed at 30. So you're gonna get credit for 30. I'm definitely not paying 30 bucks for a hat, especially a hat like that anyway. Um, but it's unique, it comes in the box, so I'm glad to have one. With $30 then, this is a $160 box. We're now at market value of 100 and MSRP of 110. And then going on with two items to go. This one's pretty unique, I would say. I'm not sure again that I'm gonna have a use for this right now, but maybe in the future, you never know. This is the Ameristep Hurricane Tree Stand Power Step. And they describe this as, the Power Step was developed to provide Confidence and stability for hunters entering and exiting a tree stand. This tool provides hunters a super wide adjustable platform style non-slip step that mounts to ladder tree steps. Um, where's that dang camera? So this is actually gonna mount then to the brace of your tree ladder and it's just gonna give you that extra security of that final step getting in and out of the tree stand, you know, as opposed to standing on a narrow peg, potentially missing it, slipping, getting in. I think we all know that the probably most risky, uh, maybe scary part of getting into a tree stand, especially at night or in the dark, whether it's early morning or at night, getting in and out is that initial step from the stand to the ladder, um, not knowing if the stand, you know, that's when people fall the most. The stands give way under the weight, or you miss the step. It's the least likely time for somebody to be harnessed in. Unfortunately, people don't use enough lineman's belts or safety ropes or different things. Um, but this will just give a little bit of extra security. I largely just showed you what I'll be hunting with, and I don't intend to add extra weight to the pack but you never know down the road I might have some private land at some point in my life and be able to actually just put in some tree stands and put this on one it's a little more safe for a younger hunter or something like that I'll keep it around but it's a pretty nice item it's uh, listed at a, only a forty dollar value which is I mean forty dollars for that and thirty dollars for this how does that compare um, $40 value here <laughs> you can find it here for 40 bringing us then to $160 box 140 on market value and 150 then on the MSRP uh, let's set this up to the side we got one item left and it's the return of a great group or a great product a little bit different than in the past but this is the Ice Mule Classic Medium Cooler. So in the past, you know, several months ago, I can't remember exactly when it was. I want to say maybe like October. We got the large backpack style. Um, just really nice dry bag. Really nice cooler. This is the Medium, which is a 15 liter bag I'll show you there pretty good sized bag and it's got a good thick wall keeps ice quite a while it's got different straps there <coughs> but essentially if you haven't used one before just put your ice and drinks in there you roll this down a little bit and you bring these buckles together Bam, you got watertight, it's gonna keep it cool, it's a good size, it's a unique color. Um, get away from just having camo everything that you own. Um, use this for going to the beach or doing whatever. Um, got the shoulder straps, just you know, all in all, really cool item. They've got that listed at a $70 value, you can actually find it here for 70. Bringing you to a 160 box 210 market value 
and 220 MSRP. Um, I guess I'm a little confused on why they come up short on their MSRP when their target's 225 plus. I mean, it looks like they tried maybe to get there, throwing a bunch of items in, but they still, even on their map, come up $5 short. On their market value, they come up a little bit more short, not terribly off from what they had listed, but um, I'm not gonna complain. It's a great box, and it was well early this month from expectation. This actually got here, I wanna say five, six days ago, maybe even, and I just haven't been able to get to it till today, and today is March 29. Um, it was here um, several days ago. So I'm happy about that. Congratulations, good job, Humble. I'm um, looking forward to next month's box. If you haven't seen for Humboldt, they've got a, a Camelback backpack. It looks like the three-in-one uh, Camelback hunting pack, which check those out, they're really cool. And it's gonna be in that box. So that makes that box worth it right there. So let me know what you guys think about Hunt Vault, what you think about these items, what you think about how we put this together. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the actual review of the items. Um, getting to see a little bit more what I think about the items, I would say, I guess. And uh, leave me comments, leave these guys comments. Make sure you like the video. Please subscribe and support Middle American Outdoors. We're gonna try to keep bringing you content all off season here as we gear up for the next hunting season here in Nebraska as well as in Kansas with my brother. Um, we we'll have these subscription boxes every month. I'm gonna try to bring you some other wild game cooking and some different stuff while people are quarantined. You know, my life's a little chaotic right now, but just trying to keep a little bit of this content going. So yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in, share it with other people, and uh, just thanks for the support. Thanks guys.